Hi. Today we will discuss about the polygon law of forces. It means if the number of forces it will be acting at a point, at a point, then how to find out the resultant of these number of forces in terms of by using the polygon method. You know the polygon, right? Polygon means that is so many sides are there like this, like this, like this, like this. It means the number of forces you need to represent in terms of polygons then by using these polygon method you need to find out the resultant how you are getting here okay just I'll explain it means first we'll see the statement then we'll go to one problem here that is we need to solve one problem then you'll come to know how to solve the problems of the number of forces acting at a point by using the polygon method okay just we'll solve one by one let us see here okay First, we will see the statement. If you see the statement, if a number of forces acting at a, at a point simultaneously, so there are so many number of forces acting at a point, acting at a point simultaneously on a particle, on a particle, be represented in magnitude and directions. It means number of forces are there here. Suppose I take one force, two force, three force number of forces acting at a point at, at a point simultaneously on a particle be represented in magnitude and direction they have some they have some magnitudes they have some magnitudes and some directions are there it means one more example I'll give here one force is there and here one more force is there one more force is there that is they represent in terms of magnitude and the direction this is also magnitude and direction this is also magnitude and direction acting at a point they are acting at a point simultaneously uh, represented by the sides of a polygon. You need to represent these forces in terms of polygon. That is one polygon, one, one force, second force, third force in terms of in, in, in orders, in orders, okay, in order. Then the resultant of all these forces, the resultant of all these three forces, for example, these three forces may be represented in magnitude, whatever may be represented in magnitude magnitude and direction by, the, by closing side of a polygon. It means you want to close the polygon. You want to close the polygon. Did you understood the uh, statement here? Just I'll explain the in brief. If number of forces are there, if three, four forces acting at a point, acting at a point, represent, uh, represented in terms of the uh, direction, the their magnitude and directions are there, then these, three, these forces, number of forces, you need to represent in terms of polygon in terms of polygon then final whatever the remaining the unclosed position is there you just close it whatever the closed the force is there that is the resultant force and its direction whatever you are getting with respect to, to horizontal or vertical okay this is the